So this is the camper van, and I'll shut this door. Hopefully that's not going to cause a problem later. It's a Toyota Cabra Nero or something. We come around the tree, and we've got the bed here, and the bed Holds out, we've got table, pillows, etc. That table can come out and it's got a post. There we go. Post which goes into that hole. I've shoved the um, fold up seats, I got a cooler bag. Uh, it comes with a bunch of seats, so this is the bed that I'm moving. You can move it back there. And voila, the bed with a double USB. A 12 volt supply for what else you might want. The seats go all the way forward and then uh, fold forward a touch. They were saying things about lie flat, but the seats don't. And it's an electric door handle, so you just pull it and it'll close itself. And then in the back here, I've taken a bunch out. We've got all of this stuff. We've got two knives, two forks, two spoons, can opener, cooking utensils, uh, two teaspoons, a pot with lid, a pan, colander, bowl, etc. Um, we've got gas for the barbecue, but I don't need it here because the site has got um, barbecue. If I lift this up, back, you've got a single cooker and gas bottle would go in there. You lock it by pushing that down and you start it with uh, this one and over to turn it on. But I don't need that so I can close this up and you would put water in here until it overflows for the small sink which is in there so I'm going to put most of this stuff uh, back so the bucket's meant to go under for when you empty the sink that was down under there You've got a chopping board here with a sink underneath and if you look at the plumbing down here you can see it goes below hence the reason for the bucket and that's where you've got things so this is a mini fridge that's like just yeah no you can't see it but it's powered by the 12 volt and just big enough I've got some uh, little bit of food in there that's been kept cool and that's it I hope you all enjoy <laughs>